If your team is rapidly gaining weight, then you are probably worried, you're probably frustrated, you might even feel guilty. Well, today we are talking about why teens might be gaining weight and what you can do to help them without hurting them. Hey everyone, welcome to the Nourished Child, my YouTube channel. I'm Jill Castle, I'm a pediatric dietitian, and today we're talking about teenage weight gain, specifically trying to sort of uncover the reasons why you might be seeing rapid weight gain in your preteen or teenage child. Before we get going though, I would love for you to subscribe to this channel, give me a like, a comment, anything. Let me know you're out there listening, watching. It helps me stay motivated and also helps me bring other topics to you um, and be more creative with them. So when teens are rapidly gaining weight, it can cause a lot of worry and a lot of concerns. And so today I want to go through a few of the reasons why this might be happening. And from my experience and, and expertise, give you some insight as to whether you should be worried or whether you shouldn't be worried and that this is a normal part of life for teenagers. So the first point I want to talk about is whether what you're seeing is normal or not normal. So during puberty for boys and for girls, weight gain is absolutely expected. How do you get from a 50 pound dripping white child to a 125 pound teenage boy or girl. There's a lot of weight gain that happens and a lot of growth that's happening. So the best way that you can figure out whether this is all normal for your teenager is to look at his or her growth chart. So you will be able to see the specific growth channels over time for weight and for height. That will show you whether your child is gaining and growing along his specific channel that he's always gained and grown along with. So for example, if your teenager uh, grows along the 25th to 50th percentile for weight and for height, and that's still happening at age 14, 15, 16, 17, then things are totally normal. Yes, uh, weight gain happens quickly in the teenage years because we have a growth spurt. And you can see my other video on the signs of the growth spurt. Uh, if you are more interested in understanding whether your teen is in a growth spurt right now. However, it is to be expected that there will be uh, a rapid uh, layering on of body fat and weight gain during those growth spurt years during the teens. The other point I want to make is that every teenager's weight should be different because everybody is born with a unique set of genes, a unique set of uh, body shape, size, and weight tendency, and we're not all blueprints of each other. We're all different. And so even within families, you're going to see potentially one of your kids uh, be looking and developing uh, at a different rate uh, and a different shape and a different size than maybe one of your other children. I know as a mom of four, mine definitely all looked different during their growth spurts and during the teenage years. Even what areas on their body that they tended to put weight on first is different. So the point is every teenager's weight, body, shape, and size should be different from another. So don't get into the business of comparing your teen to another teen or get into the business of comparing your children to each other. They each have their own unique genetic blueprint, and that in large part determines how they gain weight, where they gain it, how quickly they gain it. But sometimes there is rapid weight gain and it's not normal. It's too much or too fast, and there can be uh, different causes for that. So I wanna go through some of the main causes of rapid weight gain in teenagers. Number one, independence. Uh, when teenagers get older, one of the driving forces for them is this desire to be independent, to do things on their own. And oftentimes that gets tied up and wrapped up in food and in eating. So I know for in my own experience, 
Um, my kids wanted to go out more with their friends, and when they went out, it tended to be to restaurants or fast food joints um, or ice cream parlors or coffee shops. And so oftentimes during those teenage years, you'll see an uptick in uh, eating and eating out, dining out, and that oftentimes is really tied back to that desire to be independent, to go out on their own without mom and dad, and to start to put their feelers out and be much more independent and uh, independent decision makers, and that can translate to how they're eating. The other common reason why teenagers might be gaining weight is that they're not as physically active as they were when they were younger. Think about elementary school and even maybe middle school. There's structured recess, structured PE class. But as you get into middle school and especially high school, those reserved times for physical activity disappear. And so there is less opportunity. Now, if you have a child who, or a teenager who is an athlete, that child might be practicing uh, a sport every day of the week and participating on games um, on the weekend. And that probably is a teenager who's not significantly um, gaining weight, for example. But there are a lot of teenagers out there that are not athletic, that, that don't have that drive to be sporty, and that is totally fine. I think across the board, though, we have to recognize that um, teenagers especially get less physical activity than probably what they need to be getting. The third common reason for rapid weight gain or big up swings in weight is food choices. Again, this can tie back to that independence I was talking about before, but the, the food choices that a teen might be making uh, can be contributing to excess weight gain. Now, again, I believe this is a very natural course of events for teenagers. They want to be independent and make their own choices, and sometimes they don't make the best choices. Sometimes they're heading through the drive through Sometimes they're drinking a lot of soda or those coffee drinks that are four and 500 calories each. I believe, though, this is part of their developmental right to explore all of these things, uh, but it can be a reason why you're seeing uh, a change in your teenager's weight. A fourth reason is eating patterns. So teenagers, again, oftentimes are changing their eating patterns. They might be skipping breakfast. Girls might be skipping lunch. And then they come home from school and they're packing it in. They're all about the snacks and they're snacking from the time they get home all the way to bedtime or even past bedtime, late into the night. These are unhealthy eating habits eating patterns that I see all the time in teenagers. They don't help them in terms of staying at a healthy weight. And they might, these eating patterns might contribute to rapid weight gain. And then lastly, there's always uh, the potential for a medical component, particularly with a thyroid hormone. So although in my experience and in the practice that I had for years and years uh, of working with children, it is, was very uncommon to see problems with the thyroid uh, as, a, as a cause of weight gain, but it is possible and it is out there. And many times if you are worried about your child and you talk with your pediatrician, they will go ahead and check the thyroid function just to make sure that things are operating normally because thyroid, any abnormalities uh, in the thyroid gland can cause weight gain. Also, certain medications can contribute to weight gain. So in teenagers who might have um, anxiety or depression and need medications to function optimally in the world, some of those medications might be tied to a tendency for weight gain. So it's something also to keep in mind. The last thing I wanna talk about is what you should do if you're worried or frustrated about your teenager's rapid weight gain. First, I actually believe that you should not get overly involved in what your child's doing in terms of his eating patterns and food choices and weight. Now, what I mean by that is I don't think you should harp on your teenager 
and make comments about your teenager's body or weight or size. Um, I certainly don't think you should put your teenager on a diet to lose weight. All of these things tend to unfortunately backfire. They tend to have a negative effect on your teenager. So we know from the research on body dissatisfaction that a lot of that is tied to the comments that are made to an individual about his or her body weight, shape, or size. So I caution you to steer clear from making comments about what your child's eating, how much they're eating, what their body looks like, that they gained weight, because I believe that all of these statements can be harmful to your teenager and they're counterproductive. They don't motivate a, a teenager to change. They only put shame on that teen. So I caution you about those things. The good news is that there are a few things that you can do that aren't harmful to your teenager that can help your teenager eat in a regulated manner, um, make good food choices, and establish healthy eating patterns. So the first thing you can do is just create a good, healthy food environment, a nutritious food environment. So what I mean by that is make sure there's plenty of nutritious foods around, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, whole grains, lean sources of protein, low-fat dairy products, things of those healthy, wholesome, nutritious foods, when they're around, they can become the default for your teenager. Because one thing I know about teenagers, they don't like to take a lot of time to prepare their food. At least that's the case with my teenagers. They like food that's out there and ready for them to eat. So if you have teenagers that tend to come home and want to eat you out of the refrigerator and the pantry, make their snack. Have it on the counter when they get home. Maybe it's crackers and cheese. Maybe it's hummus and vegetables. Maybe it's a yogurt parfait. But if you get those things pulled together, your teen is more likely to just grab what's there and munch on that. The other thing to remember is that when teenagers are in that growth spurt, their appetite really ticks up. And so they are hungrier because they are needing more calories to support that growth. So again, having all those nutritious foods readily available, easy for them to grab and go, will help encourage your teen to make good food choices. The second thing you can do is just be a good role model. Eat those nutritious foods yourself. Cook nice, well-balanced meals. Sit at the table and chit-chat with your family. Get a good night's sleep. Make sure you're going to bed and getting that full seven to nine hours of sleep each night. Exercise. Make sure you're showing your kids that you exercise as well. Whether it's taking a walk with the dog or getting on your bike in the morning and doing a spin. Whatever it is that you do to move your body and stay healthy and feeling good will be a good a barometer, a good role model for your teenager to see what it means to live a healthy lifestyle. And number three, keep the lines of communication open. You know that negative, those negative comments I said, or I mentioned before, those shut down the lines of communication. We don't want to do that. We want to keep the lines of communication open. So when you're not judgmental and you're just there for your teenager and you're there to listen and to hear what they say, that can be a really good way to keep communication open. When the lines of communication are open, your teenager is more likely to come to you and ask you for advice, ask you for the foods that they would like to have in the house. They are more likely to say, I'm not feeling comfortable in my body. And then you can say, well, how can I help you with that? So keeping uh, close to your teenager, keeping tabs on him, and staying in open communication can be super beneficial and not harm your teen who might be gaining weight rapidly, but support your teen and show empathy and that you're there for them to support them. And last, go ahead and invite your teenager to join you. 
If you're going for a walk, invite your team to come. If you're going to the grocery store or the farmer's market, invite your team to come. If you're making dinner or making a snack, invite your team to help you. What happens I see sometimes in the teen years is that we as parents embrace that independence that the teens are looking for, but in doing that, we allow ourselves to disconnect sometimes a little too much. And what I want for you, for you and your teens is to stay connected, stay supportive um, of your teen. And uh, so that that communication, that trust is there and is strong so that your teen knows that if he's in trouble or he is unhappy with what's going on with his body, he can turn to you for help as opposed to turning to his friends or a magazine or social media and perhaps doing something dangerous. All right, everyone, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video about teens who are rapidly gaining weight. If you have more questions about your teen, you can head over to my website, thenourishchild.com, or you can leave a comment below and I'll be happy to answer it. As always, I would love for you to subscribe to the show and I will see you next time. Take care.